Hey guys, so uh, yesterday someone asked me to, if I could use a Porygon Z, so here I am, and I know you're looking at my team and you're like, what the hell is that? And uh, you're right, What what is this? I don't know. I saw it on Showdown, I'm like, dude, I have to use this, this is so stupid. So, yeah, I'm here with three normal types and then stall. <laughs> so, yeah, first of all, we have uh, Porygon Z, running Specs Modest. With the Tri Attack, the Shadow Ball, the Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. Thank you to uh, Zarte for letting me use this. It's really good. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. Next, we have Amoongus. Uh, this is my, like, one of the first Pokemon I hunted on this game. It's horrible. But we're gonna use it because it's what I have. We have Giga Drain, Clear Smog, Stun Spore, and Spore. Stun Spore is nice so I can slow things down for Porygon and Metacham. And speaking of Metacham, we have Metacham with High Jump Kick, Ice Punch, Zen Headbutt, and a Fake Out, Max Speed, Max Attack. Uh, then we have Chansey with Heal Bill, Soft Wheel, Toxic, and Stealth Rock. This is our Volcarona answer, basically. Uh, except, well, we have Ditto to copy back, but whatever. Next we have Zatu. Zatu's kind of our, uh... I guess it's kind of a stall breaker. You know, Z Zatu's really good at against stall. Because it kind of sets up on everything and wins, except for Clefable. So if I can weaken Clefable, Zatu just wins against uh, opposing stall and uh yeah we have the cobra berry to lift some knockoffs and pursuits so that's always cool and finally we have ditto nothing to really be said about ditto you know what i mean everyone knows what ditto does right <laughs> so uh yeah i guess i'll just get a game uh, it looks like a fun team i'm kind of excited to use it and uh yeah i guess i'll pause until i get a game oh just kidding Alright, so, we got a team where Zatu looks really good. Um, as I try to take a screenshot, but I'm stupid. So. Let's see. As a lead. I mean, we're, we're just fighting stall, right? <laughs> okay, so on the bright side, Porygon looks amazing here. I actually think I'm going to lead with it, because... Literally, I can lead with it, and if he leads with anything except Chansey, I can just go Zatu. Or, I mean, anything except Chansey, I just click Shy Attack, and if he leads with Chansey, I just go Zatu. It's simple, you know? So, uh, I'm about to cook this Zapdos. I'm actually about to cook it. This man is about to explode. The only thing on his team that takes this is... Skarmory and Chansey. Maybe Venusaur. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously assuming Chansey's gonna come out here, but if he sacks us, then my Zatu literally just wins. I mean, I have, yeah. This will still take like 30% at least, right? And I burned him, so now he's taking 36. Perfect, I'm gonna go Zatu. I hope he gets up like stealth rocks for me or something. <laughs> but nah. Um, let's see. Here, I can just go back to Porygon on what I'm assuming to be Zapdos. You know what would suck if he doesn't know what Magic Bounce does? Okay, we're good. <laughs> so, I will click Try Attack once again. If I can get rid of all Chansey's uh, soft worlds, I just win. Though, that would mean making my Porygon also lose all of his tri attacks, which isn't ideal. So, there really isn't that much I can actually do about this. Like, I know I'm getting the predictions right, but he can do this infinitely. And it, I don't have leftovers to heal myself or anything. I'll call mine here, because I, I figured he would predict that I switch. I'll just throw off a Heat Wave. Heat Wave does more to Zapdos more than likely. He's probably defensive. As he goes slow, bro. Uh, I don't know what this thing could be, but I will go Amoongus. 
Amuga seems pretty safe against this. I can get off a Spore. I can even stun the Spore. He burns me first try. I do have... I do have heal though. Um... Sorry for the stally first game. Nothing I can really do about it though. Kinda sucks. I'll stun Spore. Should I? This won't work even against Venusaur. Let's see if he goes Zapdos. Yeah, he goes Venusaur. So, that's unfortunate for me. Um, I can just go Chansey here. I can, I can get up my Stealth Rocks. That's one thing good in this game is that uh, I can get up Rocks, whereas he can't. Zatu always prevents Rocks from anything he has. Chansey, Hippo, Skarmory, they never beat Zatu. So I could pressure him with rocks while he has to uh, sit back and try to get rid of him the entire game, you know? Which means I- th which probably means I win. Like, this thing is never beating Chansey ever, even with the poison. This guy is just getting all of his secondary effects, bro. I guess, to be fair, I did get a, uh, a burn with Tri-Attack, but still. <laughs> so I get up my rocks. Uh, what I can do is I can soft mode once, then I can go ditto and spam uh, synthesis, and then switch back to Chansey and stall him out. <laughs> so I can't go like hard Porygon on this or anything. Um, my Metacham's useless as long as that Slowbro is alive. Alright, so I will go ditto here. So the good thing about ditto is versus stall, ditto uh, has unlimited PP. <laughs> Which means you can infinitely PP stall with ditto. And with a combination of Chansey and ditto, I could technically just win with the game with these two. But uh, I'm not going to do that because that would take literally years. Or not, not Chansey, uh, Amoongus. Nice, so he switches, and uh, I can go hard Porygon here. Actually, there's no reason not to go Chansey. I can just get up rocks immediately. So he has to switch here because of, like, he can't get toxic. If he gets toxic, he loses, right? So, oh, I guess he might have a heal bell, but still. Getting toxic is really bad. So I get up my rocks again, and uh... It's not like his team can break through Chansey. He, he literally has a stall on my Chansey, which I'm not gonna let happen. And he goes Skarmory here, which means I just bring up my Zatu for free. I guess I could have double defog, that would be pretty annoying. Okay, so he tries to get up rocks and cannot. I will double to uh, Porygon here. Nice. Alright, so rocks are up. And his sturdy on Skarmory will be broken. He cannot bring in his Zapdos. I get a free try attack. Uh, Chansey will still take nothing from this, but it's, it's something at least. Ideally, I get a freeze, right? But... I guess I could bring out my Metacham and Mega. Actually, I'm just gonna double back to Porygon. At the end of the day, I think what I'm fishing for is a freeze so I can just break past Chansey faster, right? It's like, let's be real, do I really want to play against this? No. <laughs> Chansey's such a stupid Pokemon. I say that as I'm using one, but still. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna try to attack again, just in case he like kicks, clicks Toxic or something. Oh, and I froze him. I win. I win. That's it. I won. <laughs> he should surrender here, honestly. Pretty unfortunate, but uh, I mean, after you know the eighth time of using Tri-Attack, it's bound to happen eventually, right? 
I gotta say, like, at, when I play stall, this is definitely the thing I fear the most. Try attack fucking Porygon. It freezes me every time. Every single time. <laughs> uh, I have no reason not to click try attack again. <laughs> I literally, I click this and I win. He has no switch and everything will die. And I don't know why he's trying to switch around it. This will explode. Alright, now I have a perfect title. Porygon Z destroys stall. <laughs> and he surrenders. Perfect. So, Porygon definitely showing what it's capable of in that first game. Uh, internet? If I, am I lagging? I think I'm lagging. My message, wow. Alright, so that's good timing. Um, I guess I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Got another game. Uh, where's my music? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so I actually didn't get the points for that last game, which is fucking annoying. Uh, I kind of destroyed that guy, I'm not gonna lie, but whatever. So, Mega Manetric plus Keldeo kind of destroys me. Uh, I have a Moongus for Keldeo at least, but if it's, if it's a sub-CM, it's definitely a problem. I think as a lead, I will lead with Zatu. As he just leads main. Okay. Well, I was thinking maybe he would want to lead a uh, Glisco or something. But that's fine. I can go Chansey. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have went Ditto. I got the special attack boost from his Volt Switch coming out. Watch this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, I guess he couldn't- he could have been not lightning rod, but whatever. Um... Okay, so I guess Ferrothorn. I can easily go, uh, Zatu. I don't have to worry about any Percy Trappers or anything. Because he doesn't have one, unless it's like Gliscor. But, uh... Wait, what? Am I tripping? What the? What did I just do? Am I stupid? I think I might be stupid. Okay, well, to be fair, that's probably better in this game anyway. But still, I'm I'm actually crazy. Uh, I I zoned out for a second. And I went the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> Damn it, man. Okay, so this is super annoying because Tornadus kind of destroys me. So I have to go Ditto here. I have to let him knock me off, which is actually kind of better for me. Nice crit. Uh, I'll try to knock off back. Is he just Hurricanes? And he lands it, and he wants a speed tie, and I die, and I probably lose now. Um, not that I wouldn't have died if I went second anyway, but... Kind of annoying. I never win the speed ties. I never get lucky in this game. Um... I think I lose. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll double the Porygon here. Man, I don't know what I was thinking. Why did I click fucking Porygon there? And he just U-turns. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. I saw a U-turn on a set. Uh, okay, I can't win this game. There, there's literally no way I can win this game. So I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna get another one. That was something else. Uh, I'm just thinking. Is there anything I could put on my team that would help me against Torn specifically? Because I'm definitely gonna run into that again, right? Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out, and I'll be back. Alright, so I actually changed up my team a little bit, so I just wanted to go through it real quick. So I got Tri-Attack, uh, uh, I mean, I still got the Porygon, <laughs> obviously, because that's what I'm recording with. And then uh, I have Scizor, uh, careful with uh, Bullet Punch U-Turn, Roost and Sword Stance. Then we have Landorus with Ice, HP Ice, Earthquake U-Turn, and Stealth Rock. And we have Keldeo, Specs Keldeo, Hydro Pumps, Scald, Icy Wind, and Secret Sword. Banded T-Tar with Percy Crunch, uh, Crunch Stone Edge and Super Power, and then finally Heat Train with Lava Plume, Stealth Dark, Taunt, and Toxic. Um, yeah, I kind of switched over to a more of a balanced team. Uh, because, obviously, the other team was cool, but it just wasn't working, so... 
Yeah, here we are. Alright, we got a game. Uh, this guy has a Mega Medichan. Okay, this is like the most anti-stall team I've ever seen in my life, but... Uh, thankfully, we're not really... We're not running stall or anything. As a lead, I think... I think Scizor's okay for a lead. Uh, I don't have a any hazard removal on this team, but... The, the, the philosophy is if I'm not playing with my... With, uh, if I'm not... Wait. If I get up rocks, then my opponent can get up rocks too, right? Okay, wait. That made no sense. Never mind. <laughs> uh, just just ignore everything I just said. But yeah, if I get up rocks, then they're also pressured to defog just as much as I am, you know? So, yeah. If they get up rocks, it's fine. I will... Ye uh, no, I won't U-turn. I'm going to stay right here and click bullet punch again. Uh, nothing on a steam one shots me, not even Mega Metasham, and I can get a nice little U turn off on it if that's what he decides to uh, do is high jump kick. I don't like how my. Why is my defense to the right a little? Anyone else notice that? That's kind of annoying. Anyway, <laughs> I will click U turn here. Maybe it's better to not let this get damaged, huh? I should really think more before I click buttons, as he goes for Ice Punch immediately, so that worked out tremendously for me. Um, I can... Go Keldeo and click Scald. He has no switching. Uh, I guess it's Ditto's is switching. I am faster than this, right? Okay, good. I really, really need to reroll my Keldeo. This speed is horrendous. Alright, so he goes ditto. Very nice, very nice. Uh, as for my switch into this, doesn't look. Uh, where is my switch in? I definitely want to keep my scissor healthy. I hate to say it, but I don't think Porygon's doing anything this game. It's kind of it's slower than everything except for Bisharp, and Bisharp doesn't really. Isn't really scared of Porygon. <laughs> um. That being said, I don't want to sack it because you know it's the Pokemon I'm trying to showcase here. But I think my best play. Okay, let me th let me think about this. So if I sack this, then I don't really lose too much, huh? Then again, this is my only thing faster than Minicham. Okay, I'll, I have to go Scizor. Scizor's so good. Oop, that was my phone going off. I'm sorry if it was loud. But Scizor's my only answer to, like, uh, Mimikyu and Togekiss. Well, I guess Landris is a good check to Mimikyu, but Togekiss, uh... I definitely need my Scizor healthy to bullet punch it. Uh, I should be able to roost here. I can also bullet punch the Metasham, uh, as it's now probably in range after that U-turn. I forgot how much it took. I think it took like 60, right? That might be crazy. Alright, so I got my Roost off. That's good for me. Uh, he goes directly into Togekiss. Just fine. I can just go Heatran and get up my rocks. Uh, rocks will help me versus this, actually. Just this. <laughs> he might double to Metasham, which would be a good play. Come on, let's see. Nope, oh, he doesn't double. Maybe he went for Aura Sphere? Flame throw. okay. Uh, perfect. I can just get up rocks. I do have two rock setters on this team. I guess I could have ran Defog and Landorus. Whatever, I don't care. Um, I am way too lazy to go back and do that now. This I've been trying to record this video for like 40 minutes. The server was down for like 20. And then I spent another 10 trying to build a new team, or find a new team. I didn't build this. I found it on Showdown, my team builder. But yeah, I get up rocks. Uh, he can't do anything to me. Because I don't have a move to hit myself. So I can just uh, taunt, I guess. Maybe he'll taunt me. 
I mean, I, I don't know. There's nothing he can really do. He has to switch, which means I got a free Lava Bloom on something. He only gets five. So I could spam Lava Plume until he has to switch, and then, uh, something takes a plus one Lava Plume from, uh, Flash Fire. Not plus one, Flash Fire boosted Lava Plume. I guess I should have just clicked Lava Plume immediately, because it doesn't matter. So, maybe me taunting is a, a bad idea. But if he goes, like, Mimikyu or Bisharp, it's fine. Let's see. He probably wasn't expecting me to not have Earth Power, as he is going to Lava Plume, which means I will also Lava Plume. Um, he's screwed. <laughs> yeah, he has three more, which means he's either going to struggle to death or he's going to have to switch into a, a Flash Fire boosted Lava Plume. Which, realistically, his switching should be Mimikyu, but Mimikyu is really good for him. Mimikyu is probably the only way of uh, actually breaking through my team. You know, e even if uh, Porygon does nothing for the rest of the video, at least it, uh, it kind of, it literally just won game one, right? <laughs> like, it, it destroyed that team, even though I didn't get the points for winning that game. It was kind of annoying, but whatever. It is what it is. I think that's his last one. I wasn't counting, I'm not gonna lie. He might have one more. Just waiting for him, you know? Let me take a sip of my water. Alright. So, once again, something's taking a, a flash fire boosted lava plume. Alright, so he had one more. Uh, that was his last one, though. It's either he struggles here, or he... Okay, so he's, he decides to struggle, which is great for me, because I don't want to deal with a Ditto. Ditto's annoying as hell. It's funny, as soon as, as soon as I take off take Ditto off my team, I find a team that's like kind of similar to what I had. Ditto, Metacham, then Breakers, you know? <laughs> Alright, so he struggles to death. Uh, he'll probably bring up Metacham here. Which is fine. I can just probably sack this. No, I should keep this around for Tojigas. Who can I sack? Titar does nothing. I'll sack Titar. Only thing Titar does is maybe pursuit the trap for Tojigas to like put it in a range of bullet punch. But I don't even think that'll happen. So might as well just sack it here. If he clicks something other than the high jump kick, I get a nice little uh, 6% on this. Like that. So. God, that does so much. Metachamp's broken. I hate this Pokemon. It's not actually broken, but I hate it. <laughs> why, does he have, why does he have, like, nipples on his knees? Has anyone else ever noticed that, noticed that? Every time I see this thing, I always think nipple knees. I think someone else said that once. And it's just been stuck in my head ever since. Now I'm cursed to, like... Just look at Metacham this way, you know? Anyway. <laughs> uh, Keldeo's a good play. He still has no switching. Nothing wants to take a skull. Nothing wants to risk being burned. And, uh, so I can just get a kill here, basically. As he switches to Bisharp, uh, Bisharp will die to this, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's a dead Bisharp, and uh, I'm assuming he'll bring out Togekiss or Mimikyu, and which, if he goes bring, uh, Mimikyu, I'll probably sack this. Hmm, let me think about this. So if I can get in Scizor and Sword Stance, I just win. But is Sword Stance even a play? Uh... I think I should keep this. Alright, I'll just go Landers. Landers is safer. I can Earthquake twice and he'll die. Uh, two two play roughs from here don't even kill me, and if he Sword Stance again, it still won't kill me. 
At least I think it won't kill me. I don't remember. I haven't fought a Mimikyu in a little while. But I'm pretty sure this, this worked out last time, right? Drain Punch. Uh, interesting. I'm not really sure why you went for Drain Punch there. I feel like player off was the better play, cause like even even if it wasn't gonna do it, kill he could he could always get a crit, you know. So now my my landers is just healthier for no reason, and in fact I think that would have two it KO'd. So hey, he kind of threw away his Mimikyu. I'm not really sure why he did that. Maybe it was a misclick, but hey, it works for me. Either way, my scissor came in after and kind of revenge killed it, but whatever. Um, I'll just HP ice here. Sack my Lando. And at this point, my scissor just wins with bullet punch. Yo, watch him not be Scarf. <laughs> I would still win with Keldeo anyway, but still. Um, it would be pretty funny. Alright, yeah, and he surrenders. Perfect. So, that was a good game. Uh, my scissor was just chilling in the wall there. But, I'll get one more. Uh, actually, I'll probably get... It depends on how long the game is, I, I guess. But, yeah, I'll get another one. And, uh, I will pause until I get another game. Alright, we got that Hisoka guy again. Uh, I'm definitely more prepared for this team this time. <laughs> definitely. Um, as a lead, I like Landers. Okay, well, never mind. I was hoping he would lead Manetric, because, uh, I actually live a hit from it. And I could have just killed it. But he leads with Keldeo, which I have no switching for. Um. Wow. He gets 6 out by Keldeo. That's crazy. <laughs> uh. Shit. I guess I got my own Keldeo. It's my only choice. Man. Yo, my teams suck. Never, never copy my teams, ever. Every time I use a team, I'm like, wow, wait, I just get 6 out by this. I actually don't know how I killed the Keldeo, I'm not gonna lie. Anyone for Secret Sword 2. Man. I'll go back to Lando. And I'll get up rocks. God, that did a lot. So... So it's just a pharaoh. Uh, that's fine. I can... I'm actually gonna Earthquake expecting him to, s to double. I think he might go back to Keldeo. This would be a godlike play. Please go back to Keldeo. I need that thing dead. on. I know you want to. It makes so much sense for me to go Heatran here, right? Damn it. Okay, at least he Thunder Waved. That's good. I'll go Heatran this time. As you just get some rocks. Man. Well. I'll Toxic here. If I can at least get a Toxic on uh, Keldeo, it'll be a little easier to wear down. I could potentially sell it down with Scizor. Is he gets Torn. Uh, that's also really good. Getting a Toxic on Torn is amazing. I'm actually going to Toxic... No. Yes? No. I'm just thinking. Get a Toxic again, expecting a Keldeo. Theoretically, if I spam Toxic... I always get another Toxic off. I'll do it. I don't care if he knocks me off. I'm going to click Toxic again. Because if he just goes to Ferrothorn, then I just Lava Plume. I just, I really want to catch the Keldeo with a Toxic. Because if I, if I, if I, if I can uh, Toxic the Keldeo, that means I can actually win this game. <laughs> okay, so goes Lando. Watch me toxic again. Yeah, I'm toxicing again. I know he's scarf. Damn it! No! Why? Why would you do that? I know why you, you would do that actually, because you're not an idiot, but 
Come on. I wanted it so bad. Alright, I have to... I guess I can SD here. I can, uh... I can at least get a plus two U-turn on the, uh, Ferrothorn. Get some nice damage on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever see myself breaking through Keldeo, I'm not gonna lie. So, I guess he stayed in. Yeah, that did a lot. Uh, I have to roost. On the bright side is Landers is getting weakened. It's really good for me. Mind me, just listening to a Christmas remix in almost almost June. Oh, uh, okay. It's only May. Whatever. <laughs> Still. Um. I have to keep this healthy so I can win against Keldeo. Even then, I don't think Scissor beats it 1v1. But I might as well try, because I don't have another option. So here, I will click U-turn. Get some decent damage on Pharaoh, And I'll go hard T-Tar. I don't give you like, Thunder Waves or anything. I can just click Superpower. Actually, I guess Crunch is a little, uh... Crunch is better. I'll click Crunch. He didn't kill. Ugh. Any le- Okay, he missed Leech, too. That's fine. So I can just, uh, I click Crunch again. I would actually prefer if he goes Hard Keldeo here for some reason. But he goes Clef. Uh, he has Magic Guard. I guess that's a little better for me. Is it? Not really, actually. On the bright side, I could bring out Porygon and actually click a button for once. <laughs> uh, Moonblast won't kill me. And uh, I can get a free try attack here. And something will die. And I hope it's Clefable. Oh god. These die? Let's go! I'm the best player alive? <laughs> Alright, so that was definitely lucky, but uh, our Porygon gets to live to see another day, somehow. Uh, unfortunately, Keldeo will come out and destroy me. Or Minetric. I forgot he still has a Minetric. I probably lose because of the Minetric. <laughs> I'd have to get on my per or Tyranitar cleanly and Perseid it. So I have to predict the turn that comes out, I guess. Any day now. <laughs> too much waiting, man. It's too early for this shit. It's 10 a.m. I'm tired. I don't want to sit here and wait, you know? Alright, so he goes main. Um. <clears throat> I will just try attack. If he tries to HP ice, I think I might actually live. And he will explode. Okay, so he just Thunderbolts. I mean, it makes sense. He had no reason to predict. Because uh, I'm pretty sure HP Ice kills my Lando from this range. But, that means I can bring up my T-Tar in Pursuit. So, I'm in a little bit of a better position now. So, hopefully I don't get paralyzed here. If I get paralyzed, I lose. That's it. Nice. So, Minetric will die here, for sure. Yeah, I think Omega died. Um... I'm assuming Keldeo is gonna come out. Yep. And I'm about to lose a Pokemon. Hooray. So, ideally, he goes for Secret Sword for some reason. Nah, he just goes for Scald. Yeah, um... Don't know if Scissor takes it, but we're gonna find out. 
297. It's not bad, you know, it's decent. I'll roost. Okay, he got a crit first try, but I think I live another one. He could obviously just burn me. <laughs> okay, so we're not beating this 1v1, that's for sure. Um, maybe somehow my Keldeo's faster and he doesn't switch for some reason. Oh, I actually lived that one. Surprisingly, he didn't get a burn at all. And I get a crit. So hey, maybe, maybe it's possible, maybe. I highly doubt it, but maybe. I'll click a secret sword. Yeah, I didn't think so, so. <laughs> Whatever, it is what it is, I lost. Um. Yeah, I need to like, I need to start building teams, but I feel like every time I build a team, it kind of just turns into stall. <laughs> I'm just a wash stall player, guys. Unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that's why I'll end this video. Uh, I know Poirier didn't do too much in the second half of the video, but in that first game, it definitely, I mean, it, it literally just won the game, right? So I think that's good enough, <laughs> uh, and it obliterated that Clefable, so hey. It works. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, subscribe. And, uh... Bye.